Hello, fellow alchemists. Welcome back to our little mini series about using Oban. I wanted to show you guys how to just do a very, very simple uh, job queuing and testing before we move on to some more advanced uh, topics. Now, I did forget one small thing. Um, so when we configured Oban, we configured a queue over here. And something that you need to know is that when you do do your testing, you should turn off your crown tab, your, sorry, your crown tab, and also your queues and disable the pruning. And that way you won't have any issues when you try to run your tests. Uh, as I was playing a little bit today, I ran into this issue and figured it out quite quickly. So just make sure you add in this line and you should be good in your mix uh, test. Now, uh, before all this, what I went ahead and did is I set up just a very simple account. Now within here, it's just all about creating a user, right? So basically a user can sign up. Now, the thing I want to add is that when you create a user, I want to say send like a welcome email. Now, how we do that is that we're just going to enqueue a job, which is to send an email. In this case, I'm just going to print out something. Uh, and uh, based on that, you know, then the email is going to get sent out. So here's what we're going to do is when we create the user, uh, we need to assert some jobs. Now within the data case, we need to actually add something in order to enable some quick little test helpers. And we just need to include use oban.testing and set the repo to be your repo, which there it is over here. And this is how you can get your test helpers in. And what we want to do is we want to assert, basically we want to insert that the job was enqueued. And so there is a assert enqueued and we insert the worker. And so I'm just gonna name this worker over here. So it's gonna be accounts.jobs.welcomeemail. Uh, so this doesn't exist yet. And we're going to assert that the queue is going to be part of default queue because if you guys remember we only have one queue configured and we can also assert the arguments so in this one i'm going to assert that the email is this test at test.com so now when i run this test over here See, we get a failure, a failure over here. So we're expecting this job it was never enqueued. So now there's a couple things we need to do. So this is the first time we're gonna be building our own little job. So what I like to do, as you see over here, is kind of prefix this. So because this is dealing with jobs himself, I'm going to create a new folder within the accounts, jobs. And then of course in here, I'm going to create a file. So it's gonna be, Welcome email.ex. And we need to define a module. So this one is open tutorial counts jobs welcome email. And we need to use this use open worker. From here we can set the queue to be default. And we can also set a max attempts, which is quite useful, so we don't keep trying to send an email. I just set it to four for right now. And then we need to actually do a perform method. So we're going to implement open worker, which is a behavior. And we will perform that when the email comes in. And for this case, I'm just going to just inspect the email and then just return OK. And this is good enough. Now, what we need to do next is we need to just basically when this is OK, then we should have already enqueued this job. So I'm going to just grab this. In fact, I'm going to grab, yep, just grab this part, go to here. And now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take the result wrap this in a case statement now, if the result is okay with the user 
then I'm going to basically just enqueue that job. Now, in fact, what we can do is we can just take this email, email, and then we just need to do open tutorial. Jobs. Open email that new, and then use Oban to insert that. And then, if it's anything else, we just ignore that, and then we just always return that result no matter what. So now, when we run this, there we go. Everything passes okay. passes just okay so now what we need to do next is we need to we can actually go ahead and we can also refute that something was not enqueued so we can do something similar refute enqueued worker so now if you run this, you should see everything is good. Perfect. Now, one last thing, which I think is something that I actually always do right now. Um, with the way that Oban kind of works, is that if this doesn't match, uh, nothing really ever happens. So what I like to do is I like to do a perform, catch these arguments in case the arguments don't actually match, and basically just log this out as an error so that I know what's going on. And I include the module name. And say that not recognizing args and I'll put the arguments, so inspect those. And then return an error to know that that job failed. So if you return an error like this, it's gonna automatically fail that job. So that's it. So this is Alan from Plangora. Please subscribe if you haven't, and we'll be doing some more open tutorials to be coming up soon. Thanks, bye.